GoPro is like gonna fall off or something. But it's still on there, still going. totally made such a mess out of my yard. <sighs> yeah, this thing seems to have plenty of power, plenty of torque to the wheels. Now, I know I said in the last video that this thing doesn't have that much power. Um, something I did realize after I made that video is I did forget to, while I was taking the old engines off and taking the old stage one performance parts off the old engines and putting them onto the new ones, I did forget to take the bigger jet inside the carburetors and put them on the new, the new engines. So these engines were running stage one performance parts without the bigger jet. They were just running the stock jet. So therefore making them run not really that great and not having that much power. So that's probably why it didn't really have that much power and torque. So I realized that after I made that last the last video of this product and then before I made this video. I swapped the, you know, took the bigger jets off the old engines and put them on on the new ones, and they seem to have a lot of torque, a lot of power now, and pl plenty of torque to definitely mess up my backyard and, you know, make a bunch of divots and a bunch of mud trails everywhere. I may not even have to do gear change. I'm not really sure. I still definitely want to get those electronically fuel injected carburetors and put them on here. Once I do that, these are probably gonna have plenty of power, plenty of torque to not even have to do a gear change. I'm not even sure, but I still wanna play around with that stuff and just see and just fine tune it so therefore it's perfect off-road. But for now, this thing's a lot of fun for on-road, off-road, but I wanna have this thing strictly for off-road. So therefore, lower speed, torque, just, you know, a lot, 
Bibles. You know what I'm saying. So, now I know that um, in the last couple of videos of this product, you guys have mentioned and, you know, said that this thing probably needs a sway bar just to keep it from leaning so much into the turns. I know this thing, now that you really, now that you guys see what this thing really does on the roads, I know it leans a lot into the turns and um, I kind of like it. I kind of like how it does that. So probably adding a sway bar wouldn't be, it'd probably improve that, but I may not do it just because it'd probably overcomplicate how I have everything. The, really the only way to add a sway bar to the rear end is to just make some thing that just, it's not going to really look pretty or just, uh, I, don't, I don't really know how I would do it. I'd have to really sit down and figure it out. But I may not add it just because uh, I kind of like how much, how much it leans and it's not really the end of the world and it's not going to tip over anything. It's, I'm not going that fast. This is not a race car, so I'm not going around curbs going 35 or 45 miles an hour. So I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. It's probably not going to tip over. I don't really care. I kind of like how it does that. So I'm just going to leave it for now and just leave it how it is. Now, um... Now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me all the parts I use for this project. Almost everything you see here, I'll be leaving the links for all this stuff in the description below. Go check all that out. But uh, yeah, I gotta end the video here. Follow me on Instagram. I have a link in the description below to that as well. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day. More things, e-brakes, uh, uh, you know, carburetors. There's this dog that just randomly just walks around the entire neighborhood and like just walks up to you. I don't know its name, but it's just, we call it the neighborhood dog. And it's just like, it just walks around everywhere and it's kind of getting annoying. So anyway, distractions. Let's, uh, okay, let's keep making the video.